Well, the first day of August starts the countdown to the new school year, and many families will be looking to buy school supplies. Yes, it is that time of year once again. This weekend, though, is an opportunity for a little bit of relief on your pocketbook with the back-to-school sales tax holiday. Color 10's Bethany French has been looking into how Springfield shoppers can benefit from this. She's live with more this morning. Hey, Bethany. Yes, that's right. And while there has been a state sales tax break during this back to school shopping weekend for many years, this is only the second time that the local sales tax in the city of Springfield will also be exempt. I know it through my through my own personal experience, uh, kids are expensive. Uh, takes a lot of money to clothe and feed them and take care of them with all their other activities. And, and sure, you can save a little bit of money getting them back ready to go to school uh, coming up. Up until last year, the city of Springfield opted out of the back to school sales tax holiday. And David Holtman, director of finance with the city, says that's because a third of the city's revenue comes from sales tax. The law has now changed, exempting all local sales and use tax on qualifying items, including some clothing items, some personal items, and school supplies like textbooks. I spoke with the co-owner of ABC Books, Valerie Earhart, and she tells me she has already seen an increase in teachers and families buying books ahead of the new school year, and she's glad they'll be able to save some money in Springfield. You know, it, it, it's 8.1 percent here, so... Um, that's, that's a substantial savings for people. You know, it's almost 10%. The Missouri Department of Revenue does have some limitations on what qualifies and how much. You can find that information linked with this story on our website, ozarksfirst.com. Reporting live in Springfield, Bethany French, Color 10 News.